Let's see, we can't get through here. Maybe we can like smash some stones in a little bit, or maybe we can like, oh! Okay, kitties don't like water. That makes sense. Hey, how you doing today? My name is Riley and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are gonna be jumping into an early access demo of Crypt Custodian. This was developed by a solo indie developer, Kyle Thompson. And if you've never heard of that name, it might ring a bell because he also uh, developed Islets. Islets was a little sleeper hit of a Metroidvania indie game that released last year, or actually it was end of 2022, and it was really fun. So uh, I did a little series on that. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. That one did so well that it makes me really excited to play the Crypt Custodian. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Yeah, Islets was just like this fun, cozy, metroidvania game and i'm really looking forward to something similar here where it's just something like relaxed and uh really responsive control i know this is more of a top down puzzle solver metroidvania game i'm kind of interested to see how it how it turns out let's uh let's do normal difficulty modes affect boss and enemy reaction times and attack pat Ooh, and attack patterns that's what i like to see in an uh, an easy normal hard difficulty i want new attack patterns when we get to the more difficult stuff that's something i'm excited for uh it can be changed at any time from the pause menu all right Ooh. okay okay little kitty Oh, that's not so good. Oh, is that all nine lives of the cat? Nope, it's something else. Ooh, okay. So Crypt Custodian is a metroidvania about cleaning up the afterlife. We get to play as Pluto, a mischievous cat who has died and is sentenced to be the afterworld janitor forever. Hello? Hello. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, you're awake. My name is Pip, and I will be your guide to the palace. The palace? Oh, I was literally just outside on the street. Where am I? Oh, well, the palace is the most beautiful part of the afterlife. But we aren't there yet. This is just the entryway. It's where all new ghosts first land. How come I don't look like a ghost as much as Pip does? So just ghosts? So I'm dead? Oh, well, yeah, sorry. I should have started with that part. Well, don't worry too much about that. Just yet, we have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She is a guardian of the afterlife. You'll have to make your way to her chambers, and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. Good ghosts go to the palace where they experience never ending bliss. So, heaven, okay. And the bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Okay, well, we definitely don't want to, we don't want to live out there. Come on, you should get going. All right, so, oh, okay. That's interesting that there's a little pointer to show like what direction we're facing. I have a feeling maybe there's like weapons or something that we'll have to deal with that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Right trigger, left trigger. I, I always have to press all the buttons. So right bumper is our dodge. And none of the other buttons do anything. We can't dodge midair. That's fine. Let's see, we can't get through here. Maybe we can like smash some stones in a little bit. Or maybe we can like... Oh! Okay, kitties don't like water. That makes sense. So can we just walk off the edges? No. Okay, that's good. Jump! I got this. I'm a professional. Oh no! I like that you can that you can turn around midair. Controls feeling good. View the map. Ah, okay, okay. Picking up what you're putting down. All right, let's get to the more difficult stuff. I'm ready. So what is it like inside the palace? Oh, I'm actually not sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Were you bad or something? I guess I must have been because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to outside the palace, she just sentenced me to be a guide for, uh, for all eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes rules and she always sticks to them no matter what. 
Ooh, I wonder if you're gonna have to like make some uh, big important important choices in this game. Look at this, more uh, more statues that look like they need breaking here. We're gonna have to get through that Metroidvania style, I'm sure. Yo, you found a broom. Swing it by pressing X. Ah. Okay, our weapon is a broom. All right. I don't know how. Are we supposed to just break everything? Is that is that my new job now? Is this my purpose in life? To destroy. Boom. All right. Well, that, that probably opens up our first set of backtracking. Kendra's gonna be like, "Yeah, you missed a couple of spots. You, you're you're sentenced to uh, cleaning up the afterlife forever." I like that the little circle kind of tells you if you're gonna land on something you're not supposed to. Like, it goes, like, red, if you're gonna take damage. Alright. New area. Just got, I, we're not even finding anything valuable worth picking up, but I can't help but destroy everything. Is anybody else like that? Do, do you have to destroy everything, too? Man, growing up, my mom was like that, playing uh, uh, Zelda. Ocarina of Time, she would break every last little pot. It drove me crazy watching her play because I'm like, just move on to the next room. You're going to find like five rupees. Hey, you made it. Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just remember to be on your best behavior because you really don't want to be on her bad side. All right. So should I be destroying all the pots in here? Or maybe, maybe that would make her angry. Oh, we got a slam attack? That's cool. Oh. <laughs> the way that music came in there, I, I was expecting something something bad there for a second. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I'm the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been a good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died, and all that by the way, that just makes me so sad. This over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this door leads to outside the palace. You really don't want to be sent out this door. Well, enough of that chat, let's take a look at your life. Oh man. All nine of them? All my kitty lives? Oh, it says you were born as a stray and you had a brother and a sister. So cute. And then it seems like you were adopted by a nice couple and they took really good care of you. And you love to play and get pet. Just like my cat. We, we recently adopted a, 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 adopted a cat from a shelter. We love this cat. Her name's Teacup. Oh, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. And then, one night, it seems like you escaped from your home, ran into the street, and... Oh, you poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You are a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, mm-hmm. Wait a second, there seems to be another page? Uh-oh. Oh, no! This is it. After you died, you landed here in the palace entryway, and you smashed some of my statues! Oh, well, I mean... To be fair, there's no way to get to the palace without smashing some of the statues. This is just awful. I'm afraid- I, I smashed a lot of them too. I'm afraid that you have been a very bad cat. As punishment, you will be banished outside of the palace for eternity! <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. Mm, you thought you are supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not gonna cut it. I do feel for you, though. If you think this sucks for you, well, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. This is really bailing me out. Well, enough uh, wallowing. It's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm also sentencing you to be the afterlife janitor forever. So hold on to that broom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit to the door on your left. Are you sure I can't just, like, make my way in here? Sorry, you didn't make it into the palace. I really thought you could do it. Oh. Uh, I, w there, I wonder if there is, a, like, a little tricky speedrunner way to, to make it over here without breaking anything. That would be interesting. 
Oh, look at this. We break all this black stuff and we, we gain poop. I got I got 75 of the poops. Oh, can I can I clean the statue? No. Whoa, that I don't know what that enemy was. We dest utterly destroyed it, but uh it actually took quite a few hits. I was surprised. I really like the graphics in this game. Like the way that the bushes and everything look. I'm I'm going to be hooked on this game. I can already tell. Kyle you, you, you did good work. Oh, wait, this bush actually looks like it's... You can kind of cut the... The bush is cut, but not more than that. That's interesting. And I wonder if later we'll be able to swim, because this looks like it's got like a little cutout. Like, maybe we should go in there, but not yet. I can't swim yet. I'm just I'm just a, a little old cat. What is this? Ooh, save. So we're thrown into the game without really anywhere to go, and we're told that we get to clean up the afterlife forever. Dodge roll, RB. Okay, got that. But, uh, what is it that we're really doing? Oh, see? Over there? I think we get some sort of grapple hook eventually. Oh. we fight you? No. Okay. Ha-cha! Dodge roll. Dodge roll, miss me. I love the graphics. It, this this has a, a very similar art style to Islets, which I really, really enjoyed. But it's definitely more, uh, I don't know if refined is the right word, but like it, it, you can see Kyle's really coming into his own. I, I really like this. Very cool. Oh, don't, for, don't forget all my, I don't know if they're coal or pieces of poop. I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I got it. Okay. Oh, clean it all up. What's interesting is that the sheer volume of resource that we're getting. Woo! Damage. And it looks like we have more than just life uh, in our UI up at the top left. It looks like there's some sort of jar as well, which I don't know what that does yet. What is this? That's cool. I like the way that's telegraphed. Ooh, low health. Okay. But how do I heal? There's like, so Y, B, A, X. Yeah, there's, I don't have a, a button to heal as of yet. What's nice is uh, I thought it was like, we can run and we don't automatically just fall off, which is great. Ah, uh, see new enemy. What, what do you do? Okay, spikes to the corners. Dodge. There we go. Easy, defense. I wonder if there's a, a limit to how much uh, resources I can hold. And, oh, there's a key over here, it looks like. But what's up here? Okay, let's grab the key first. There might be a fight for the key. No fight for the key. Okay. Woo! Um, all right, up into the right, we can get, uh, we can, we can heal. Turn in the key and heal. And I don't know if there's too much more that we could do to the left. We will, uh, we will find out. Save. There we go. There's our heal. Wide unlock. Oh, we only need the one key. We're gonna save. Because I'm one of those people, every time I walk by a save, I gotta resave. What if the first save didn't take? I don't know. The Sinner's in. Hey, kid. Welcome to the Sinner's Inn. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad, actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts are more fun anyways. Hmm. I'm Marla, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here, so whatever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back in here and buy something. I tell you what, as a welcome gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack. Ooh, at a massive discount. It's called Super Sweep. Go and pick it up. All right. Oh, for one? Uh, yeah, creates a spinning circle of brooms around you. Special attack, all right. Special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. These ones are just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left. Ha, ah, I told you there's something with that vessel. It'll fill up, and when it's full, press B to special attack. Remember to head to the near shrine to equip your new attack. And you teleport between shrines. Be sure to come back to visit whenever you collect enough garbage. All right. Well, we got enough for something else, I'm sure. 
wow, everything is so expensive. It's, it's like one of those things where you could like just lop off a zero and it would all mean roughly the same thing, right? This could be like 90 and 140. Just a just interesting design choice. Not not good, not bad. Uh, but spirit shield. So required slots five. So these things do take slots, which is interesting. Um, creates a circle around you that uh, hurts nearby enemies. I like that idea. And we can afford it. Makes attacks 30% stronger at full health. Yeah, I'm not always at full health though, because we don't even have a way to, to heal. Um, so let's let's take this spirit buffer because we can afford it. Pleasure doing business with you. And then what's this? Is this something that we can buy too? Major marker? Ooh, I kind of wish we had bought that almost instead. And then can we like get new music? Oh, that old thing, it works, but I lost all the discs. All right. VIP? Sorry, but I can't let you in here. Series for VIPs only. I've never seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now, scram. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I kind of want to be a, a VIP. I want to I wanna be special. Ooh, okay. New area unlocked. So if we press B... Oh, we, we haven't equipped it yet. Uh, that doesn't work. Equip. This. And special attack. There we go. I think I think they're equipped. Oh, so now if I press B. Woo! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, did I destroy something? And then if I come back here, what will it refill my... It sure does. It sure does. Okay. Frog? Boom. Oh. I thought they looked like frogs. That's kind of cool that it says frog there. Now, now I'm certain. Alright. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of going for it. We're exploring. I mean, that's like the best part of a Metroidvania, right? Is the, the exploring. I kind of wonder how quickly... Woo! Oh, we just destroyed that enemy. Whoa, that's a lot more. Get rid of, get rid of one. Woo, I thought I dodged. I did not. I'm definitely going to want something that's going to allow me to dodge faster. Or like more often. And I should probably be utilizing my jump more often too. I just haven't been. Woo, missed me with that. I'm digging the combat. Just, so, But when you attack, it locks you in place. You get like this triple slash, two two cha, two two cha. I also really like the way that materials float towards us. What is this? Spirit discovered? I didn't see how many, out of how many, but I like it. I want all the spirits. Maybe that's the other thing. Maybe if we, we get enough spirits, the spirits are like, yo, he's friends. I don't know if we can make that jump. That looks a little, ooh, just barely. You just, you just gotta believe in yourself sometimes, you know? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Are you going to hurt me? Dead man's curse. Enemies will create a dangerous blast upon death. Defeat 15 enemies to remove the curse. Reward? One upgrade slot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want an upgrade slot. Show me some enemies. Let's go. Curse. Defeat 15 enemies. So when enemies die... Oh, easy. I can I can dodge that. Man, I really like the art. I know I keep saying that, but really. Very cool. Woohoo! No! Oh, did, so I didn't lose the curse? Or it just means I can't heal? I don't I don't know what's going on. Okay, okay, one more. I think there isn't there an easy one like right over here somewhere? Where's a little pot enemy? Where are you? Show yourself. <gasps> oh, it scared me. I thought I took damage. Alright, slot upgrade complete. Let's go. Alright. Not gonna lie, that's uh, a little difficult, or if not difficult, then stressful. 
Uh, are you gonna... Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew you were gonna... You weren't just gonna let me walk by. Oh! Took that damage. See? But we got our upgrade. That's all that matters. And we're back. So, what does that mean for... Uh, like, how much money do we have? Do we have enough for another upgrade? Can I... Can I put the stuff on my map or did I lose everything? Oh, we still have enough money. All right. I I'm happy with that. It's not Hollow Knight style where you're going to like lose your stuff. Oh, and just a heads up, we are playing this on our Lenovo Legion 4090 RTX gaming computer. We're kind enough to get sponsored by Lenovo Legion, so I just want to say a shout out to them for hooking it up on the channel. If you need any Lenovo Legion stuff, if you need like a, a new PC, a new laptop, new new gear, uh, please go ahead and check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, yeah, they, they hooked it up beyond belief. We built an entire new shed. If you wanna check that out, I've got a whole uh, series of shorts over on YouTube. It actually came out looking so good. Uh, yeah, so just shout out to Lenovo Legion. Woo! This area, like what, what is this? Aha! Challenge to feed a horde of enemies without taking any damage. Uh, I accept. Do you know who I am? Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh shoot! I lost the challenge. Okay, I gotta. I gotta be way more defensive. Okay. I like that. I've got like a superpower. Like, so, so early on. Like, that, it feels really powerful. This... My little jar... My little jar attack? Like, get at me. And then it shoots off the screen? Okay, granted, these aren't the hardest enemies, but we did it without taking damage, and I will take it. Challenge complete. Uh, we got six somethings. I don't know what those were, but we, we got them. We earned it. That's, that's mine. Um, let's, let's press on. I want to go, I want to go up to whatever that, uh, that exclamation mark is. Is, is that just an area where we already were or what? Boom. Okay, so we can't make it up there yet. I like these things. Little things floating in the water. It's like the ghost things from, uh, from the last game. All right. I think we are making progress. I'm pretty sure that's where we died last time. All right, we've got a ways to go before we get to the exclamation mark, but this looks important. Pearl's Shrine. Ooh, maybe we get the the grapple hook here? Uh oh This isn't good. Ah! What's that? Hey, sorry to scare you. I was just up in the rafters sweeping up some grime. Oh, are you a custodian too? This old cavern is a shrine dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. I'm a bit embarrassed to see it get so dirty, so I'm trying to clean up the whole place up. Oh, so are you a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. But Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all eternity. Yo, we've got the same job. We're buddies. She actually sentenced everyone to do that same fate, although most other ghosts just stop cleaning after a while. Oh. Well, that's then. Uh, that's not good. Shouldn't you do your job? Anyways, my name is Pebble. And I'll be around here cleaning for a bit, so I'll see you around. Um, what did you say? Every ghost is gender? Yep, every ghost here has been sentenced to clean for eternity. You'd think that after a while, this place would actually start to look clean, but the garbage just keeps flowing in. Huh. Like, do we do we need to help you with the cleaning, or...? Uh oh Bell! Woo! Took the damage. Okay, okay. Uh, let me, let me go, uh, let me go hit this checkpoint. Look at you, little froggy, cleaning up. I like it. All right, we're going to save. And then I guess we don't really have anything else to equip. But I guess, are these all of our special slots? Okay, so we've got six available. Good to know. Good to know. What if we check our thing? Okay, so there's a lock over here somewhere. It's like my favorite part about Metroidvania games. Just kind of exploring and like seeing things that you're like, hmm. Hmm, we should be able to do something with that eventually, right? Okay, this one's this one's ready for me. Woo! Ooh, yeah, that dodge felt good. 
Let's go. Okay, so where do you want to go? You want to go over here. Oh. Oh, hey. Like that? Are we doing a bounce shot? Sure are. Shoot. I grew up playing pool, you know? My uncle had a had a full size full size full size pool table. I, I I'll never forget there's one time I asked no, begged my sister, who's a year younger than me, to play pool with me. I said, please, please play a game with me. And she goes, Fine. We must have been 12, 13 years old. She finally says, yes, we can play a game together. She has me break because she's not as good at it. And I cleared the entire pool table. And it's the only time I've ever cleared the entire pool table. And she vowed to never play pool with me ever again. And uh, I'm 35 years old now, and she still hasn't ever played pool with me. Wait. Oh, yeah. If I hit this way. But then how does it bounce over there? Oh, it says hit the wall. Like, there's a big arrow that says do this, and then this? Woo-hoo-hoo! Big brain! That and the, the arrow right here on the ground. You know, one, one of those two things will get me through. Being observant. Okay. Can I get through this, this challenge? One more? One more? Come on. Take a swing. Take a swing. Got him. Ooh, you know what we call this? In the industry, we call this cheese. Ooh, it's so tasty, too. So one. And then maybe this is another one of those, like, hit it this way and then, like, hit it this way. Got it. Did we open it? We sure did. What's this give us? Ditch effort. Make attacks 30% stronger at low health. Upgrades can be equipped at save shrines. Heck yes. I want that sweet, sweet damage. I seem to be living at low health, so I feel like this is going to be right up my alley. Okay. Okay. Oh, enemies with the fire? Let's do this. Spin attack! Uh, what? I don't, uh, a special, special spin for the win. Ninja Turtle attack! Oh, wow. Uh, oh! No, my controller has just enough stick drift to make this absolutely terrible. Uh, it looks like there might be something over here. Yeah, there's a switch. I hope this switch turns everything off. It did not. It might have opened up a door, but oh my gosh, this is going to be difficult. Oh! My brain can't handle this! No! Okay, okay. I really, really don't want to die. I don't want to die. Can I just run away? Run away! Run away! No, don't leave me. Just leave me alone! Okay. We're out. We're out of there. Alright, another fight. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. There we go, one down. Okay, okay. Easy. If there's another one, we'll do the special. Special attack! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, almost got me. That's what I needed in my life. And we're very close to whatever the, the exclamation mark is. <gasps> What is it? What is this broom? What does this mean? Uh oh. Boss fight. That's what it means. That's what it means. I know better. I can feel it in my bones. Pot full of spiders. Did you see that attack pattern? That's nutty. We're gonna we're gonna use the special. Okay. Uh contact damage is a thing. Alright, watch out for the ground. Woo! Okay, watch for the ground. Woo! Woo! 
I don't know how I missed. Special attack! What was that? Did you see that? Oh! What is that? Yo, ran over me. We got the 50% damage. First try, I'll take it. Not bad. Okay, and then the... Okay, okay, what's that mean? What's that mean? What are we doing here? Run away. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. We're okay, we're okay. Jumpity jump. Run away, all right, all right. Those coming in, we're okay. We can get a little bit of damage. Watch out for spiders. Woo, okay. We got the special. We're okay. Okay. We're not, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Don't let the guard down. Okay, okay. Oh, the demon spiders! Woo! No! Special! Keep it going! No! Ah, we're so close! Finish, finish, finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Yeah! Let's go! I know, right? I know, I know, we did it. It was first try, too. That was great. Pebble? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I think so. I was just trying to clean some grime off that pot, and I guess I fell in. I should probably go outside a bit anyways. Being here in this shrine for too long always brings me down. You know, I don't mind being stuck outside the palace most of the time, but I wish I could go inside just once so I could see Pearl again. Wait, I thought you said she was still alive. Is she in the palace? Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Time for some lore. There's something very special in the palace. It's a mirror made out of crystal soul. Any ghost who steps inside the mirror can visit Earth again for just a moment. The living won't be able to see you, but you can at least feel their presence again. And maybe they can feel yours as well. Ooh. But I guess it's not really worth thinking about things like that. After all, we're stuck out here forever, so something... So getting used to the crystal mirror is totally impossible. I guess I should just get back to cleaning again. Thanks for helping me back there. Ooh, what is this? New friend? We get to make friends? I like that. Look at that. We got a little, little, little heart and everything. Ah. Oh. Ooh, what is this? And cat upgrades? Get at me. Air dash. Uh, press RB in the air to air dash. Your dodge roll has been replaced with a much quicker ground dash and your stamina refill time has been dramatically improved that's what i'm talking about that's what i've wanted this whole time let's go i'm excited uh you are in oh and you're invulnerable while dashing Ooh, hoo, hoo, look, look at that just pew, pew, pew. oh that's much much faster the plaque reads dear pearl we may we see each other again someday love pebble Jump, dash, jump, dash, dash. Look, look at this. Oh, there's stuff over there. Oh, I can reach it now. From where I'm at, it could be just a demo thing, or it could be the fact that we're inside and maybe we need to get outside. I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, what is this? Boss Rush. Boss Rush mode has been unlocked from the main menu. Any boss that has been defeated in game can be replayed in this mode. This makes the end of the main content for this demo, but there's a lot more to explore. If you'd like to keep playing, please wishlist Crypt Custodian on Steam. So uh, if I didn't mention it before, Crypt Custodian is available as part of Steam Next Fest. Um, that will be happening, uh, I don't know if it's early February of 2024. So go ahead and check that out and please wishlist the game. If you think the game looks interesting, if you like what you see here, as far as a little sneak peek at what's coming later. Ooh, it looks good. It is fun. The controls feel good. I'm, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I will be covering this uh, in depth on my channel or I don't know if I'm going to do a playthrough or guides or exactly what I'm going to do, but I will be playing more of this. So again, thank you, Kyle, for sending me an early access key to play this ahead of Steam Next Fest. And uh, 
I hope that you will enjoy the video. Thank you so much to my members for supporting the channel. Thank you again to Lenovo Legion for sponsoring with the, the brand new PC build. Again, links to them down in the description. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.